Hi Capricorns, welcome to the channel. I'm the Side Moon Diva. For those of you all that are new, for those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, the comments, the shares, as well as the donations and keeping your girl booked and busy with the personal readings. If you guys are interested in one, you can find that information down below in the description box as well as pinned in the comments. So let's go ahead and see what is the energy around you guys at this time. You got to ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages for the sign of Capricorn. Maybe they got something to give you. Who is this that has too much pride? Okay, somebody has too much pride and it causes a relationship or a situation to be at a standstill. Okay, some of you all could be dealing with a fixed sign. Okay, uh, some of you all could have a fixed moon. Your person could have a fixed moon. Could be uh, Taurus, Scorpio. We have Leo, and then we also have Aquarius. Is what you all could be dealing with. Yeah, whoever this is, it is causing issues in the situation. Um, this could be somebody that likes attention. Somebody that always wants the attention on them. This person may be upset that you're not paying them any mind at this time. I I feel like you got fed up with this person's need for attention from others and you are deciding that you were no longer dealing with this at the bottom of the deck you have nynx in this is the um interest god enchantress of night okay oh yeah some of you all definitely found out that this person uh, was hiding something. There was some secrets some, there. It could be dealing with the Pisces. Somebody could have a Pisces moon. Uh, but whoever this person is, yeah, I do feel like there was something that was hidden. There was something there that you did not see. Okay, let's see what other messages we have. Oh, you took a risk. I feel like you took a risk on this person because you were hoping that things were going to work out. Maybe this is somebody that had always wanted to pursue you at some point, or this is somebody where things were kind of off and on, and you had decided to give this person one more chance, but I do feel like you all may have felt like it ended up being the wrong choice, okay? Wrong choice could have been uh, going back to this person. Yeah, you have the vision card here. All right, you have Aphrodite, you have vision. Okay, some of you all could have been getting signs that something wasn't right. Uh, you could have been getting some type of intuitive messages. And I also feel like whatever, this card can also mean whatever's lost will be replaced, okay? Meaning that um, this situation may have been a loss. You and this person may have decided to go your own separate ways, but it ends up working out in the end for you because there could be somebody coming towards you that is more your speed. Right, let's go ahead and see why these messages are coming through. All right, can you tell me why these messages are coming through at this time, please? For the sign of Capricorn. Why are these messages coming through? Oh, definitely coming through because for some of you all, you do feel like you made the wrong choice. Like, damn, I made the wrong choice of going to this person because I saw that uh, full card in the reverse as I was doing mixing. Okay, so somebody definitely feel like they made the wrong choice when choosing this person. Overall, you have the Hermit card. I do feel like you all have kind of pulled your energy back from this person. I feel like you all are in this energy of I'm doing me. I'm not worried about anybody else because for you, I feel like this person refuses to grow the hell up. Ooh, some of you all are definitely dealing with the air sign. I'm seeing a lot of air energy here. Speaking of air, that is a Knight of Swords in the reverse. And I feel like... Uh, with this Knight of Swords in the reverse, this is somebody that couldn't tell the truth even if it was right in their face. Uh, this is somebody that is <laughs> very crafty with their words, okay? Somebody that is very uh, manipulative when it comes to communication. It's sort of like they will tell you something. It may feel like the truth, but it always feels like when you walk away from this person, I feel like they're leaving something out. Okay, because keep in mind, we're talking about somebody that loves attention. We're talking about somebody who likes to be in the spotlight. So this is someone where I feel i am just got an energy of somebody having a cell phone. And every time you're around this person, they turn the cell phone over. So you can't see anything that may come up. This person may have said, oh, somebody uh, tried to steal my phone or I'm worried about my phone being stolen. That's why all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I've decided to put a pin on my phone. Yeah, you all have realized this person is slick, but they always make sure that they are one step ahead. Okay, I, I truly feel like this is what's going on here. And 
I do feel at some point you did try to give this person the benefit of the doubt, but I mean, the, the, the drama, it just kept adding up. It kept adding up, okay? Like I said, overall for this reading is the hermit mode here, okay? Is what you all are in. You all are searching for inner strength. You have withdrawn yourself from this person. You're very cautious against this person. And <laughs> I love this card because I feel like this person, this is somebody, uh, they communicate a lot maybe through text messages, this person is definitely reaching out, maybe sending a text message, maybe sending a phone call. And you are, it's something about someone saying, I'm busy. Oh, I've just been so busy. I'm sorry. I'm going to get back to you. But this person sees it like you're not as busy as you're trying to say you are. You're a damn lie. You're not that busy. <laughs> Capricorn, are you distancing yourself from this person and not with the BS right now? And you telling this person or you giving the impression that you're super busy, but really most of the time when you get home from work and everything, you just sitting on your ass and you chilling. <laughs> Y'all like, listen, you can take it however you want to take it, but I'm tired of dealing with this person and these games that they keep running. Okay. Yes. You all are tired of the manipulation. The womanizer. Some of y'all are dealing with the womanizer or I always laugh and say manizer because I don't know what it is when it has to do, <laughs> when it has to do with a female, but you're tired of this. Okay. You're wanting, you, you thought this person was responsible. You thought that this was somebody that was disciplined, somebody that even though they may get attention, because I do feel this is somebody that if they're not good looking, they definitely have a personality that draws people in. This person could also have, uh, could be very Scorpio um, dominant, Scorpio Cancer Pisces dominant. And this is somebody that, oh my God, I just feel like people flock to them. Even if they're not people persons, people flock to them. I do feel they have, uh, they could have fire mix as well. This is somebody that is attractive or they have this strong fiery dynamic. It's something about this person that they attract others. However, oh, I just got this. Some of you all, if you're dealing with somebody that has a child, see how you see this man here? He's very overprotective and he has his child behind him. Some of you all are dealing with someone that they may use their child as an excuse maybe to um, get away or I'm going to go take my son to get a haircut. I'm going to go take my daughter out for daddy daughter day. Or this is somebody that loves attention from people when they have their child with them. Oh, your kid is so cute. And you're like, oh, thank you. What's your telephone number? See, this is how this person runs their game. They run their, their game in a way in which you, for some of you all that may have children with this person or this person has kids, you're thinking that this person is just a really doting dad, which I'm pretty sure they are. But this is also somebody, this is one of their tactics to get attention from other people, okay? It's through using their children. Oh, that's, that's so awful. I swear to God, I get some of the most awful messages sometimes that come through. But I'm just saying this is real life. There's people out here that do this, that, that have done this, okay? Where they may have, you know, they may be in a relationship. They may be in a marriage, but they love attention or they do certain things to get attention from other people just because they like it. It makes them feel good. It puffs them up. Some of you all are dealing with the Leo. All right. You also have here the Queen of Cups. Okay. So this is on your side. You are coming off as somebody that uh, I'm telling you, some of you all are definitely mothers. Um, and this could be your uh, child's father. This could be your husband for some of you all that are dealing with somebody. Or we'll switch it the other way around. Of course, we do have um, men that watch these videos as well. You could also be in the energy of the Queen of Cups. You're very kind. You're very willing to kind of be there for your partner, to be that shoulder that they need to lean on. You bring a lot of enjoyment for this person. But sometimes you wonder if you are enough. And see, that's when the problem comes in at because you start to put this stuff inward. This person is not giving me attention like I used to be. Maybe it's something wrong with me. No, a person is going to do what they want to do. They don't give a damn whether or not you're Holly Berry. They don't give a damn if you're Brad Pitt. Okay. A person, if they want to step out, or if this person, you know, wants to do a certain thing, they are going to do it. It has nothing to do with looks, okay? And usually, and, you know, because you know, nobody's ugly, nobody's, you know, at, at least I don't feel that way. Everybody has something about them. But let's be honest. 
statistically usually when a person cheats it has nothing to do with looks it's about how that person makes them feel so it doesn't i'm telling you whoever you all are dealing with i, I cannot stop stressing this enough this person likes attention they could be somebody that works in a field where they're the handyman okay or they could be a police officer where they protect and serve person could be there's somebody in a for some of you all this is somebody in a prominent position that have this position because they love it they could be teachers as well but they love being somewhere where they can be the center of attention and i do believe that this has caused them sometimes to have to have this may have caused a breakdown in your relationship is because this person has a need for attention even if this person hasn't stepped out on the relationship physically, all right? But you do have the tower card here in the reverse, which means to me that something has happened in this relationship. Something could have happened early on, but at some point, the walls came crumbling down. You may have got your wake up call that you're dealing with the player. You could have got your wake up call that you're dealing with the liar. You're dealing with somebody that could be emotionally cold or whatever the case may be, but still you chose to stay. And why did you stay is the question that I feel like for some of you all, you've been asking yourself, you were in a relationship where you felt abandoned. You were in a relationship where you felt there was all of these different things that led to a downfall and you were disappointed in this person, but why did you continue to stay? Now you have on this person's side, oh, wow. Okay, so there are some, uh, there's a lot of messengers here. There's a page of cups, there's the page of swords, there's the queen of wands, there's a king of swords and there's a judgment in the reverse. Did some of you all, some of you all could be involved with somebody that's already involved with somebody else or you may have found out there was somebody else. Could be an Aries, could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius. Uh, some of you all could definitely have been dealing with an air sign because of course you do have a king of swords here, okay? And this may have been somebody that may still have been involved with somebody else or they may still have bitter, Oh, you see how that gun, let me tell you, the way that the cards are laying down here, I'm going to put it that way over here. Do you see how, let me, let me see if I can do this. I'm so ditzy. Okay, here you go. <laughs> okay, now look at the guy. Do you see the gun here? And it's turned towards this queen of wands. For some of you all, you are dealing with somebody who's still emotionally tied to or karmically tied to a queen of wands where there's a hell of a lot of drama. Whether this is marriage, whether this is, I don't know if this person um, doesn't trust women or doesn't trust men because of what they dealt with with this person in the past, but there's still somebody else in this picture on this person's side, okay? There is somebody here that is still involved with somebody else, okay, for some. Um, for, for others, this could be somebody that has issues when it comes to relationships or needing or wanting attention because the woman in their life could be their mother, grandmother, whomever they were raised by, didn't give them enough attention. Okay. This person may have worked a lot. They were away from the home a lot, or this person could have been abusive towards this person. Or they could, I, I'm getting a strong sense. Their mother may have been very ambitious, very hardworking. And there was a lot of time spent away from the house. The mother may work in a healthcare field. Wow. This is so, um, this is so specific. This is not going to resonate with everyone, but this is very specific. This person may not have gotten the attention that they wanted from both their parents is what I'm getting here. This is mommy, daddy issues. Somebody could have mommy, daddy issues. The dad may have been emotionally cold, even if they were there, or didn't feel like the father was there because they weren't as connected to the child. And with that king of swords, see, this is somebody that is very powerful. This is somebody... Um, that could be a counselor. I just feel like there was, there was in that, in this person's home, there was not enough attention paid to them. Therefore, this person didn't grow up or they use manipulative tactics when it came to people to get attention. You see how both of these cards here are pages. This is somebody that's still immature, but they're in the body of a grown up. Okay. This is someone that not that good with their words. 
not that good with expressing their emotions. They do it from an immature standpoint. When they get upset with you, they distance themselves emotionally. When they get upset with you, they use low vibrational words. They call you every name in the book for some that are emotionally abusive. Uh, this person could have experienced group ab abuse at a very young age. This is where this child has witnessed some things, okay? Your person has witnessed some things. They may not have even revealed to other people. There are some things that this person has in their closet you probably wouldn't even be able to take. And I feel that for this person here, this is why they don't know how to love. This is why this person continues to disappoint you. This is why this person continues to leave you worried. They never seem to make up their mind. They don't really know what they want when it comes to relationships. This could be why this person still could be tied to a karmic relationship because this is all they know as healthy. They only know healthy relationships if it comes with toxicity. Okay? So this is where you had to realize, I can't fix you. My job is not to fix you. I loved you. I gave you all of me. You took advantage of this because I do feel like this person took advantage of it. I feel that every time you gave your heart to this person with this Knight of Swords in the reverse, they effed it up. Every single time. You're like, you know what? If I give you an inch, you take a mile. I give you my heart, you stomp on it. And so this is why you've closed yourself off and you're cautious because no matter how much this person is reaching out and looking out and want to get connected with you, they disturb your peace. And he said, I can't keep allowing you to disturb my peace. Literally, I keep getting ludicrous. Disturbing the peace. Uh, <laughs> stayed up about my business. Because he's all up in my, it's my business, my business. <laughs> I'm telling you. I think that um, ludicrous is a Virgo. You could have Virgo prominent in your chart. This person could be a Virgo. Um, the, also, the energy here I forgot to mention earlier is that you also have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Didn't I tell you this person disrupts your peace, your stability? This person disrupts it in some way, shape, or form. Everything they put their hands on when it comes to you seems to come crumbling down. If you give this person another chance, you always have to come back to everybody and go, okay, fine. You all were right. John John ain't no good. Lisa ain't no good. Yeah, you're right. Lisa did manipulate me again. It's that energy of like, damn, I got to come back every time in misery over this person. Or there's some money issues with this. Like everything goes wrong when this person comes around. And then you started to realize it. Because see, let me tell you, Capricorns are very, very loyal to a select few. Okay? There are a select few people that can get in and penetrate your heart and keep you from going cold. And I feel like this is somebody that had penetrated your heart at one point. And no matter what this person did to you, you always had a soft spot for them. But I feel like the more betrayal that came through, the more drama, the more problems, the, the you finally got to a point where you're like, you know what? You are taking away from me the love and joy I know I'll be able to give somebody else. I'm telling you, for some of you all, there's an emperor coming your way. There is an emperor that's going to end up breaking through and getting through to you. Okay, give me some more messages in regards to the Capricorn. What is the Capricorn been dealing with when it comes to this person? Yeah, this is somebody they refuse to let you go no matter what. Okay. They're like, I don't give a damn about you talking about you moving on anyway. So what are we doing next week? Okay, because they're energetically holding on to you and never letting go. Praying that this situation can work a second time around. Because they. this is, again, toxicity is all they know. So you may say, oh, you gave me a headache and I'm tired of this. They'll take some leave for their headache and they'll be fine the next day. They get over it quickly. Some of you all are definitely dealing with the Aries. Maybe our Aries will cuss you out. They will be mad at you stereotypically. And next thing you know, they're like, hi, how are you? Like, I love my sister to death. She's an Aries. If she watched this video, she's, <laughs> she's going to say something to me. 
I love her to death, but she is so funny because she gets over stuff easily. Man, she can curse people out, everything. And the next day, it's like, hi, I was wondering if you want to go get Chinese. <laughs> what did I tell you? This person still has a toxic person in their energy that is keeping you all at this standstill. That's why that stagnant energy is there. This person cannot see straight no matter what goes on. They're wondering what went wrong. Still wanting to commit and connect to you. One day you're going to be my wife or husband. I know I'm still your best. I mean, they refuse. Oh, Capricorns, I don't know what y'all got going on physically, emotionally, but God dang it, y'all got somebody stuck to y'all like glue. What did I tell you? What did I freaking tell you? No one can have you but me. I'm willing to bet that majority of the people that are watching this reading are saying, oh my God, every time I try to watch a Capricorn video, there is this person. <laughs> oh, they still there. I'm telling you. Toxic and all. Okay. <laughs> wow. There you are again with that queen of cups. See, you know what? Let me tell. Oh, I just figured it out. Let me tell you another reason why this person can't let you go, Capricorn, whether this is masculine or feminine energy that I'm speaking to. They can't let go of you because you remind them of their mother, the mother that they've wanted, the mother that they want for their children. Some of you, if you have children with them, they think that you're a damn good mother or you're a damn good father that you lead with an iron fence fist when it comes to your children, but you are also very gentle where you need to be, okay? And this is why this person cannot accept this loss. Some of you are dealing with a cancer. I think I mentioned it um, earlier in the reading. Some of y'all are dealing with a cancer that is not understanding why they need to let you go. They need to accept that you're gone. That card really wants to come out. Yeah, they can't understand or accept that you want a new beginning elsewhere. But this person wants a new beginning with you. They are refusing to accept that. Whoo, look at that. You all are doing the right thing. Release your ex, okay? Releasing your ex is the time has come. You all got to clear your energy. You know that you can't keep giving this person chance after chance because they have not healed their issues. Some of you all may be twin flames, but you realize that this person has burned their bridge because they don't want to do the work. They don't want to grow up. They don't want to fix their childhood issues. They don't want to leave somebody behind that they maybe still be sneaking around with or emotionally tied to in some way. And you can't do it. This is why they're telling you to keep an open mind because the new person that is coming towards you may be a hell of a lot different than what you were used to. And that's actually a good thing because who wants to deal with somebody who is still emotionally and mentally immature? Okay. Because who is coming towards you uh, could be an air sign, could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. And you're going to have a lot of romantic feel feelings, excuse me, feelings for this person. Can you tell me some more about this new person so we can get... <laughs> So we can get off this old person. Oh, this old person is a, a spiritual lesson. Let me tell you, this person may come through and offer you an apology. You're going to accept that apology and move on because it's like, thank you. And I still know what I need to do though. It's, it's time for me to move on. I accept your apology, but your apology is not enough anymore. Your apology is just not enough anymore. Yeah, sometimes people have to understand that, you know, you, you can't force somebody to stay in your toxicity. Don't stay in that, Capricorn. If you know this is not what brings you happiness, this person throws you off. For somebody, this person throws you all the way off. What did I tell you? Indecision, their indecision, them never being able to commit to anything leaves you brokenhearted every single time. And you said, you've done this to me for the last time. You all are not playing with whoever this is. You're not playing because you all know there's an emperor. Some of you already met this new person. Uh, this new person here, somebody very responsible, very disciplined. They're the opposite of the person you were dealing with. You were dealing with somebody irresponsible. But man, this new person, I do feel uh, for some of you, if you have children, this person is coming in as a mother or a father figure. They're going to step up and give your child the type of 
growth or something that is it's something there it's something about children so some of you all if you have children you're gonna know exactly what it feels like when this person comes in it's like jesus you're literally the last part of the puzzle that i had been looking for all right you have the sixth chakra here what did i tell you new beginnings personal vision in the beginning of your reading there was something about spiritual visions. You, I feel like some of you all may have some type of powers or something. You've seen this new person before. You may have seen them in your dreams. You may have felt that somebody new was coming in. But you, I think you all know that there's a new beginning around the corner if you let this person go. What did I tell you? Because you've manifested this person into your life. You all manifested the person you wanted because you are in the magician energy. I, I mentioned before, air sign. Some of y'all are going to end up with a Gemini. This is somebody that has a lot of self-confidence. This is somebody that has strong willpower. They don't need to have attention to know that they are the man or the woman in the world. They All their power comes from within. They don't need acceptance from the outside world. They already know they the ish. You have rest and rejuvenation. What you're doing, sitting on that couch like I showed you on that hermit card, taking yourself away from drama and people that don't that don't bring you peace. <laughs> Sorry, my son is ready to get down from his high chair. Here I come. <laughs> Long story short, you're gonna get this messages you need through pulling away from this person. So continue to do this. Continue to practice uh, willpower and caution against any energy that wants you to stay in that. Oh, look at that. Some of you all may already be mothers, could be pregnant. Uh, you may have had a child with this person, but you're birthing something new. You may have recently started a business, a new job. You may be looking for a new job so you can get out of the area um, where you're at when it comes to this person so you can move on. But I love this. You're going to receive a blessing of fire. You're going to receive a blessing of passion. That fire energy uh, could be a fire sign coming your way, but you're just going to have a burst of energy and confidence and you're going to feel like a totally new person like you can take on the world. And this is after you come out of this hermit mode because some of you all may be like, I'm feeling kind of depressed or I feel kind of down right now. When am I going to get my spunk back? Oh, your spunk is coming. Okay. It's definitely coming. And it's all going to come after you heal. You have a time of healing. This is why you're being pulled away, okay? With this balsamic moon, a time for healing is needed. You have your three messages here. Then I'm going to close it off with some intuitives. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation, and that's you, Capricorn. You are learning in silence. In this fourth source energy, that you don't want a connection that's strictly sexual. Or you don't want a relationship where you are the third party, or you feel like, or always constantly looking over your shoulder, wondering if there's somebody else because this person cannot control their sexual organs. Okay? You want more than passion. And you're going to get that with the right one. Let me go ahead and pull these final messages. All right, give me the most important messages to close out this reading for the sign of Capricorn. Give me the most important messages to close out this reading for the sign of Capricorn. Oh, how many times are you guys going to get a new beginning? It's coming. All right, the person you could have been dealing with could have been very verbally abusive. You have your back turned to this person. You're going to continue having your back turned to this person because they told you they were ready, but this person is the type that could be a commitment foe, okay? All night. Pour it up. See, this is the type of person they play the games. They could be in the clubs all night. This could be somebody that spends their nights drinking because they could have an addiction. Uh, just fast life energy here. What God... Man, this is the most, it don't get clearer than this. You all know it's strictly sexual for some of you all and that this person is just literally not the type to settle down. You can't change this person. They don't want to change. They are toxic and they haven't received help for it. 
You all could be dealing with an Aquarius moon. You could have an Aquarius moon. Dirty. They're telling you to be careful at this time. Dirty usually indicates in my cards that somebody could be having unprotected sex. Unprotected sex can sometimes lead to unwanted pregnancies, and it could also lead to STDs. So protect your body because this person is definitely sleeping around with other women and or men. Last two messages from this deck. You have on a break. This literally got me shaking. Look at this last card, Capricorns. Never going to change my toxic ways. It doesn't get any clearer than that. Let's close off with these last five messages and we are out the door. Final messages for Capricorn, please. Final messages for Capricorns, please. I want you completely naked. Bad boy. Aquarius. Interracial. September. So some of you all could, of course, like I said, this is somebody that doesn't want to settle down. Definitely the energy of a bad boy who is only looking for sex. This is how this person likes to see you, completely naked. This is somebody that could be an Aquarius, all right? This is someone where this could be an interracial relationship for some of you all. Something significant could have happened this past September. Something could be happening in the new year. This also gives the energy of this person being a Virgo. I mentioned Virgo earlier, didn't I? A Virgo or a Libra. Whew, that was a lot. Listen, whoever this is, this person has a lot of secrets. They're not willing to share with the world. So be careful. If you all enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Sag Moon Diva. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.